This is the second part of a two-part guide detailing setup of Open EVSE. In the first part, we covered setting up the Open EVSE Wi-Fi portal and uh, the settings for the services such as posting to Emon CMS and MQTT. In this part, we will cover the Emon CMS setup. So that setup of the data once it's been posted to Emon CMS. So if we just log in to um, uh, you will see mess here and then go to setup and inputs and in the input section if it's all working correctly we should see the open EVSC device here um, posting data updating every 30 seconds if you don't see the open EVSC here you should go back to the first um, first video and uh, um, check the Emon CMS settings in the open EVSC um, web interface so let's now log these inputs to feeds um, so the data will actually be stored. So to do this, we're going to use the new device module template. Um, this automates logging the inputs to feeds. So the first thing to do is to go to my account section and just make sure that the device module beta is switched on. Um, this step may not be necessary in the future. Um, when device module is um, being merged into the stable branch. Um, but for now, it's it's currently in, in beta. Um, once the device module is turned on, this is how the input page will look. We need to click on the little uh, top icon here, a uh, little cog, to open up the device module. Um, and then we just select the correct template, um, the open EVSE um, unit and then click save. If it's the first time you're doing this, you'll just see the save button here. But since I did it, I've initialized it in the past, um, the initialize button is here. So just click initialize um, unit. Here shows all the feeds it's going to create and the input processes it's going to um, apply. Um, for example, it's taking the, the, the current, the real-time charging current, Applying a scalar to convert um, to um, a um, float value, and then and logging that to a feed. Then it's applying a scalar to convert the current to a power value, and logging that power to a feed. So let's initialize that, and there we see the input processes appear. So now we can move on to the feeds page. And now within a few seconds, we'll see the all the feeds it's created. And once 30 seconds are up, we'll now see the um, all the values appear in the, with the correct units and the correct scales. Um, so that's it. Um, inputs now being logged to feeds. These uh, will now be recorded and stored. Um, there we go. We can see all the correct values. We haven't currently got a charge active, so um, the current is zero, power is zero, um, and uh, the energy will update once the charge uh, session is underway. So we're going to pause here and um, move to um, another e CMS account with some more um, data in it. Um, Okay, so we've just moved to a different Emon CMS account. This has got some data in it. Um, the Open EVSC was posted to this account up until a short while ago. Um, that's why it's inactive now, but there is um, data here if we um, go back a few a few days. There we go. Um, so this is just the raw data. Um, so this is the, the current charging current. We can zoom in on a particular charging ses session and uh, have a look at the current. Um, and we can also overlay the, this is the temperature inside the unit um, going up to 33 degrees during a charging session. Um, so here we're just checking the checking all these looks okay. A more useful representation of the data is using the Emon CMS apps uh, module. So if we click on the apps in the top bar here I'm going to go add a new application and explore EV charging, open EVSE. Let's call it open EVSE. So now we just need to um, select um, our EV power feed 
and our EV kilowatt hour feed. These may be called something slightly differently. Um, I think it's called EV power and EV energy. Um, if you've used the device module config, but we select the appropriate feeds for um, power and energy and then launch the app. Um, so here we can see that's a month's worth of um, energy uh, charging data and how many kilowatt hours we've used on uh, any particular day and clicking that day will take you to see uh, the charging sessions um, on that day. So there we go, that's a, a brief overview of um, what you can do with uh, in e CMS with the OPD VSC data. Um, obviously with e CMS it's possible to make your own uh, custom dashboards. Um, here is one we made earlier using the e CMS dashboard builder that lets you uh, drag and drop widgets and move graphs about to make your own custom dashboard. You can put in images, um, all sorts of um, different uh, widgets, feed buttons, dials. Um, to if you just Google even CMS dashboards, you get an idea for the sort of things that is possible possible to make. Um, but the apps module gives the best experience on particularly on mobile um, devices. There's also an iOS or um, Android even CMS uh, mobile app you can use to show the same information. If you have any further questions.